Eisenstein argued that montage is the essence of cinema, and Eisenstein, along with others, particularly Lev Kuyoshov, deeply analyzed montage and wrote at length about their findings. So they weren't just making montage, they were writing about it, theorizing about it, sharing their ideas with others. And both Kuleshov and Eisenstein were deeply impressed by the parallel editing they found in D.W. Griffith's films, especially Intolerance of 1916. And it's fair to say that Griffith paved the road for Russian montage. Uh, Eisenstein himself stated that all that is best in the Soviet film has its origins in Intolerance. Uh, Eisenstein, unlike Kuleshov, also found a basis for montage in the novel, particularly in Dickens' writing. Um, one thing that Eisenstein notes is how the reader gets so intensely involved, almost to the point of fever, and that's the word that Eisenstein uses in film form, uh, is we get into a fever when Dickens has these very important characters come into a very critical moment and then just disappear and be replaced by less important characters in the subplot and we're waiting for them. When are they going to come back? There's a certain tension that's created. And Eisenstein really learned from that, and and it became part of his idea of what montage could be in film. So what more specifically is montage in the cinema? Montage is the notion that a filmmaker can create a new dynamic whole by putting together two or more distinct shots together. Uh, and it's important to realize that even though these shots have to fall in chronological order, Eisenstein did not necessarily think that the effects of montage were linear, and this is quite different than what Kuleshov was thinking. Kuleshov thought that shots uh, should fall in a particular order, um, or that well, they have to fall in a particular order, but he thought that there was a sort of compounding, as if each shot were a brick in a wall, and at the end there would be this concrete statement made. But Eisenstein saw it more in terms of cellular structure, where there could be osmosis between the shots and a certain energy that caused a, a transcendent idea to emerge. Um, so I think that most people would agree that Eisenstein saw greater complexity in the individual shot than Kuleshov. Uh, and I certainly have a video you can watch talking about the five different uh, complexities that can be seen in each individual shot in a montage. Um, and one of the reasons I think uh, Eisenstein was was more sophisticated or, or saw more sophistication in the individual shot was that he brought different disciplines. I've already talked about how he referred to Dickens and the novel, but he also had ideas about psychology and music and art, dance, uh, architecture, things like calligraphy and Egyptian hieroglyphics. All of these things were in his mind when he was thinking about the individual shot in montage. So montage operates on the principle that each individual shot illuminates the other, uh, or even better, that they mutually illuminate each other, because there's not necessarily this chronological uh, relationship. Uh, Ezra Pound spoke of the luminous detail, which is the third unnamed quality that arises when we jam two unrelated things together, and Pound was undoubtedly influenced by Eisenstein and the principles of montage. Now, Eisenstein says that the individual frame, uh, the individual shot in a montage, should, should never be like a, a letter of the alphabet. It should always have multiple meanings and be multiply interpretable. Um, at the same time, each shot in a montage he, tell, he tells us that each shot in a montage is severely responsible, and it's like a line of poetry in a poem, or like a musical note in the movement of a fugue. It has a certain rigidity, uh, just like water in a cell, in a plant. Uh, there's the idea of turgor pressure. Um, it, it's full, it has a certain fullness, and it its place in order for the plant to stand up tall. It, it, that's, uh, each individual shell, cell has to have tension and water in order for that to work. So the shot has to have multiple meanings uh, in order for it to juxtapose with the other images around it to create this uh, unnamed and unnameable whole, but it also must be concentrated. 